All right, guys, next step in this process, uh, we have um, zeroed the machine and it's on. Uh, we have imported a file uh, from Mosaic into the SCM computer. We've converted that file and also downloaded that file onto the handheld unit. Um, the next step in this process, if we're, especially if we're cutting multiple sheets on a job, is we are going to use our operator computer, which is this one at the podium. It's got the TV on the back um, facing the CNC so that uh, we can uh, see what sheets and what labels and that kind of stuff to, uh, to use. But anyway, the program that we use here at this computer is called the uh, uh, Mosaic CNC Operator. This is essentially a mirror of the optimizer that I have in the office. Um, uh, from this program, uh, I mean, technically we could create G-code and, and send it over to the SCM computer and cut parts. Uh, we can manage uh, remakes um, and that kind of thing from here if we need to. Uh, but today what we're gonna go through is just the basics of uh, importing a job into the operator uh, so that when we're cutting parts on the CNC, we're able to look and see at the exact sheet that we're cutting, print labels for it, and uh, that type of thing. So we'll get started here. Um, uh, I'll minimize this real quick. Uh, everything I've got that is needed is right up here at the top, okay? Uh, we have uh, Mosaic shortcut uh, file you won't use much. There's a jobs shortcut that you won't use much, um, at least for this process. Uh, we've got the main folder, um, which you'll see here shortly. We just access it, access it a different way. Um, uh, however, this is the CNC operator. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Normally we would double click this icon and that would open up the program. I've already got it opened up, so I'm just gonna bring this thing uh, open real quick. Um, and what we're wanting to do now is I'm just gonna quickly uh, kind of set up. Uh, we're gonna import a job. So in Mosaic, um, I create a G code file and I save it to that flash drive that you guys saw us use at the CNC computer. Well, what I do when I also am the optimizer is I send the job to this computer, to the operator. It's a file um, that gets sent out to a cloud-based uh, file folder, and then it's available here on this machine. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's say that you're getting ready to cut that Modern Touches job um, or any other one. We're not actually going to open up the Modern Touches job, but we're going to show you how this works. You're going to go up to File, which is this upper left-hand corner. Uh, you're going to come down to import job. We're going to open this up. And this is where we're going to access that uh, that one folder that we saw on the desktop. Um, we use a cloud-based uh, file server, which is called OneDrive. Okay. Um, in OneDrive, there are two main folders. Uh, Mosaic OneDrive, uh, which you won't be using. Uh, this is just our uh, supports or carries all the information I need for Mosaic in the office. Um, this is the Waukee CNC jobs. This is going to be the folder we're going to access. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And then there's five more folders here. The only one you need to worry about here at this computer is CNC operator app. Uh, you don't need to worry about job files. You don't need to worry about the offset. You don't need to worry about G code, uh, XML files, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. We're just going to work on the CNC operator app. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then this is where we would see that job that I've exported from the office, okay? Um, we're just gonna pull up an example one. Here's one for this parks uh, project. We're gonna click on it and we're just gonna say open. And it's gonna go through a process where it's gonna download it into the operator app. And then it brings up an open up open job screen. So this is where we need to go ahead and search for that job. We're gonna look for parks. It's right there. Um, if you can't see the entire name, you can always come up to the header and slide it across and be able to see what you're looking at. So we're gonna click on parks, click open, and uh, it just basically did this. If you look up here, it says parks, Austin, blah, blah, blah. That's what we imported, okay? So from here, we've got a couple tabs, uh, a numer number of tabs, but uh, we have the materials, 
Uh, this is where we can look at uh, whatever materials. This one just happened to have one material in it. Uh, but there's one material in here. Um, it's going to show its thickness and the width and length, all the basic stuff, the width and uh, length trims, um, uh, feed rate uh, type stuff uh, is all in here. This is all importing from Mosaic, but you can actually change this stuff here if you had to. Um, we don't really need to use it. Um, the main thing that you're going to use here is going to be patterns and labels, okay? Now, unfortunately, this one job, I think what we'll do is we'll open up a bigger job here real quick. Um, let's go open job, and let's just pick a bigger project. Let's see if this is, uh, this should be a bunch of stuff in here, hopefully. And it's not. Open job. Let's try another one. Goodness, I'm zero for... For five here already MDF here's Dvorak we'll just go here there we go okay so here's a typical job um, it, from the material tab we can see all the materials that are in there quarter inch MDF quarter inch mel three quarter MDF for doors uh, and three quarter melamine case uh, stuff like that if we go into patterns um, this is going to show the sheets so we can control the sheets like for instance quarter inch MDF there's two sheets um, quarter inch uh, melamine there are seven sheets we can click on a sheet and expand it to look at it um, uh, that type of thing but uh, primarily what we're going to be doing uh, here functional functionality wise and we'll go over like how to do remakes and that kind of thing in another video um, but the main point is is we've imported a job um, we've now opened that job and we're we go to the labels tab is where we want to be um, we're going to select the material that we're cutting. Like for instance, over there, I think we were setting up for three quarter melamine. We would click on three quarter melamine. Uh, we would make sure that the, the sheet that we're going to run is the sheet that we want to show. Um, so we'll pick it on the handheld and then it may be sheet six. Okay. So let's say it's sheet six. We're going to click on this thing. Um, I'm going to unselect all these parts. Um, uh, this is what it would look like normally. Uh, this is a sheet that's not been cut, okay? From here, what we would do is if this is the sheet that we're cutting, we would start the CNC into motion. We'd walk over to this uh, computer, and we would, uh, uh, we would print all. We're going to press print all when we see the entire sheet. That's going to proceed to print all the labels out on the Dymo, and, uh, and then it's going to turn all of this green um, is what's going to happen when you press this. I'm just going to press mark complete because that'll do that right now. Um, but uh, when you press print all, it'll print everything, and then you can label the project as the CNC is cutting. Um, last thing here is whenever you're working in here, uh, especially once or twice throughout the day, and definitely at the end of the day before you're all done, uh, you're going to go up to file, and you're just going to say save job, okay, um, just to make sure that things are being saved, okay? That's it for right now. We'll get into the weeds on some other subjects uh, later.